How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Now, that's a job well done. UH Athletics Director Herman Frazier today announced the non-conference lineup for the 2008 UH football season, securing 13 games, likely preventing any repeat of the schedule gate episode we went through this past offseason. Hawaii will see opponents from five different conferences next season, including its own, the WAC. The season opens at the Swamp. For the first time ever, Warriors will play Florida out of the SEC August 30th. The following week, a home game against 1AA Weber State. Then it's another tough road trip to Oregon State. Later in the year, Hawaii will host another Pac-10 team, Washington State. Then it's Cincinnati of the Big East December 6th. The dates for the WAC schedule are yet to be announced, but Hawaii is due to host Idaho, La Tech, Nevada, and San Jose State while visiting Boise State, Fresno State, New Mexico State and Utah State. But first things first, and that's this season. And speaking of Utah State, Hawaii hosting the Aggies this Saturday. Warriors are undefeated at 5-0 on the year. Utah State 0-5. UH Athletics Director Herman Frazier released next season's Warrior football schedule today. 13 games, five non-conference matchups. UH opens on the road versus Florida August 30th. Then it's Weber State at home, followed by Oregon State in Corvallis. Warriors end with Washington State and Cincinnati at Aloha Stadium. Black home games, Idaho, La Tech, Nevada, and San Jose State. On the road in conference, Boise State, Fresno State, New Mexico State, and Utah State. Coming into this football season, the biggest criticism of UH Athletics Director Herbert Frazier was he took too long completing the schedule and it was weak. Well, it won't be the case for 2008. Next season's schedule was released tonight and includes a team in the top 25 this week. Cincinnati will close out Hawaii's non-conference schedule at the Aloha Stadium. This week, the Bearcats are ranked 20th in the country. The last time the Warriors played the Big East foes was in 2002 when UH won 20-19. Sadly, that's the game everyone remembers members for because of the big fight afterwards. Here's the rest of the schedule. June Jones team opens with Florida at the Swamp. It's also a first time meeting for Utah, UH, excuse me, and Weber State on September 6th. Then it's two Pac-10 teams, UH visiting Oregon State and then hosting Washington State. Cincinnati arrives on December 6th. The dates have yet to be released for the WAC. The Warrior defense is starting to receive some respect. This week, Hawaii ranks 31st in the country for total defense, and the big guys up front are a big reason why. I mean, you know, we got depth now, and um, I think that just sets us apart from a lot of teams. With Hawaii's defensive line switching up its first and second team so frequently in games, the Warriors feel like they have eight guys considered starters. In fact, three of the Warriors' top ten tacklers right now are D linemen. We come off the ball real hard. You know, we, we play with our hands a lot. You know, our Coach Jeff, you know, I can't stress how much, you know, he teaches us, you know, good stuff. The lessons may be unconventional, but Jeff Reinbold's teaching techniques make sense. Anything that we think can help our guys get better, we're going to use. And whether it's yoga for their stretching and their concentration and their breathing, or it's, uh, you know, a karate kata that we can use that helps incorporate the movements that are fundamental for a defensive lineman. You know, we, our challenge as coaches is to think outside the box. The Warriors were open-minded to it, and now they're closing in on opposing quarterbacks. The line has nine and a half sacks through the first five games. If somebody makes a big play, everybody celebrates. You know, you don't see that person celebrating myself. You see all the other, you know, D-linemen come and, you know, hug them, tap them on the head, you know, slap them and tell them, good job, you know. And if you haven't got your tickets for the Warriors, here's a deal for you. Season ticket holders can buy two tickets for the price of one for this game. UH kicks off against Utah State at 6.05 on Saturday.